All right, guys. So I am trying this new StreamYards uh, recording. I didn't want to go live back to back to back to back to back. So basically, welcome. <laughs> I just want to give you the context of what the next video is going to be about and get right into the next video after I upload this. Um, hold on one second, you all. Hi, you're watching. Hi, you're watching Religion Wink TV and my spiritual ears. Stay, guys, to all things spiritual and leading us back to God. Unfortunately, we have to encounter those things that are not godly, like conversations such as I've been bewitched. And this video is called The Preview of Women. This is part two of I've Been Bewitched. The Preview of Women Who May Also Have Been Bewitched. Or sold their souls over or made deals with witches along the way in their career to be successful and uh, make it in life. And then those who just became under demonic possession, not realizing that their own spouse may have been bewitching them so stick around and stay tuned for a lot of good videos that's going to be coming up today all right but here i just basically want to get into what i want to get into you with and that is to show you the slides and uh everything that i basically have um, so let's start here. Bear with me. So things are running slow. Hopefully I can record everything and just upload this for you guys. But, uh, I definitely want to go here. All right, so. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruits. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So if you love life, you're going to eat the fruit thereof. And if you love death, you're going to eat the fruit thereof. And one thing I want to say to give all praises due to the Most High God, this is coming from God's words. This is God telling the people of Israel at that point in time and today that, look, this produced life or death. And for God to be able to use his words to tell us this means something, right? You just have to make that choice. So. I just wanted to show you that quickly the tongue produced life or death. I believe when it comes to witchcraft, it's not so much the mixing, but it's what they're really saying. It's not so much them putting ingredients together, but what they're actually saying and probably thinking while they're putting these concoctions together to kind of cast this spell on you or be with you. So with that being said, um, all right. So, let's go. Actually, it'd probably be better for me if, I just tell you what God thinks about witches. Point blank period. Thou shall not suffer a witch to live according to Exodus 22, 18 and 20. The next verse 19 says, whosoever lieth with the beast. Now is the Lord calling a witch a beast here? Shall surely be put to death. Or is he talking about bestiality, which is laying with animals? Some things most witches love to do or have been known to do allegedly 
And I'm going to say, I believe I came across some witches in my time. And all witches aren't bad, which are bad people. And in the next video, hopefully we'll get to a young lady who has the name witch in her title. But I think it does her not as much justice. Uh, I don't think it does justice for her at all. Because I feel if she didn't have the name witch in her title, she would be further along here on YouTube. So we're going to get into all of that on the next video, all right? But in this one, verse 20 says, He that sacrificeth unto any god, and we know wizardry, sorcery, warlocks, and witches are indeed other gods, right? Save unto the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. So these three verses came up. I wanted to share them with you. This is how it feels about witches. Maybe he called them a beast. Maybe he's referring to the immoral sexual acts that some people take on with animals and also referring to them as gods with a little g. So that's something to take into consideration when you encounter a witch. Do you go kill them all and hang them like those Salem witch child, which we're going to get into some of it in the next video? God willing, I don't think so. But you definitely call the things that be not as though they are and address it with the word of God and make it bow down to the spirit thereof of the most high God, right? Because what I realize about the dark, the demonic and wicked evil people is that basically they're that way because they turned away from God. Their souls are lost. They decided to follow the devil. A lot of angels went willingly, some unwillingly, but a lot of them went willingly, okay? And they no longer want to be a part of it. And then when they got in the trenches of the enemy, they realized, like, God, we messed up. How do we repent and get back as well? We see people do it, but how... How do we, the fallen angels, do it if it's to be done, right? Because some things are not meant to be done. God told us flesh, the carnal mind, the wicked things of this world is not going to be found amongst him, right? He even said, touch not the accursed thing. But when people dibble and dabble in witchcraft, they are actually especially the children of Israel. I don't know about everybody else. I'm only speaking from Old Covenant, Old Testament, who God was speaking to and the descendants thereof because witchcraft did not get rid of all of us and transform us into some new creatures in Jesus to where the whole world forgot about who we are and why God would say this because there was some people trying to introduce it into our tribes, into our nations. And God had to speak against every ungodly thing he saw happening. That's why these instructions are here. So to make this go a little further, y'all. So some of the open tabs I have is the tongue produce life or death. I'm going to explain it more in detail. Um, there's a YouTube video, Arcane Knowledge, Psalms 139. Uh, the Witch Who Granted Beyonce Beauty, The Rise of Witchcraft, Psalms 138. Uh, Derek Jenks, his wife lost it again. Shout out to Sean Blazington. Funny, funny, funny. Psalms 27, Psalms 51, Psalms 59. And then one of Denea Jenks' video poor clips I have here. You're going to hear her spew out some Bible scripture according to the book of Psalms. And one that stands out is Psalms 40. So when we get to that part of the next videos or however many it takes for us to get through this series of I've been witched, I've been bewitched, women who have been a bitch, a witcher, <laughs> bewitched in some sort of way, right? So I have I have some things in here about Shanquilla Robbins as well. 
that again when you get into masonry when you get into greek fraternities it gets a little witchy it gets a little dark it gets a little ungodly to an extent so i have a couple of clips in here that supports that as well so we also have celebrities who have d dabbled in witchcraft um several celebrities okay beyonce being one of them then we have Kanye West speaking about Satan. And I wanted to just throw that in there to ruffle your feathers a little bit because it's funny to me how people can dance with the devil all their damn lives. According, uh, according to Beyonce and Jay-Z, the two biggest devils in the world and or witches and warlocks. And then, and then Balenciaga, which is Baal and the guy named Siaga, together if you ask me but we're gonna get into all of that in the next video right but it's funny how people like kanye spend his life with the devils thereof and the witches and warlocks of this world right of gods like Baal and siaga when you put it together balenciaga right balenciaga and Baal is the god we know of the Bible, but Siaga is a god of guard. He like guards things. And I've been telling you, Baal been trying to be on guard of the children of Israel because he ain't trying to let us free. And that's how he find people like Beyonce, uh, Kanye. I'm not going to consider Kim because she may not be the children of Israel. Kanye may not be either, hell, but you know what I'm trying to say. They use people of influence from certain communities and tribes to turn more people out and against God is all I'm trying to say. So Kanye did a great job of doing that. And now he's crying wolf. He went missing allegedly and basically saying help, crying for help. But he doesn't want to listen to someone like me or you or I or us who can tell him that Storm Monroe said years ago that the Kardashians deal with crystals and candles and he may have been bewitched, all right? So it's not just women out here. So witchism, right? It's all men as well, allegedly. All right, so we have Marie Laveau. In relation to one of Beyonce's relatives, Bridget Bishop, one of the three main women or witches, maybe five or six, maybe 10, it was 200 tribe, but Abigail, I mean, Bridget, excuse me, Bishop, and then there's an Abigail, then there's um another one, an indigenous one we're going to talk about, okay? We we got Galatians three one and three. We got who was living in Galatians at the time. Paul said, "Who bewitched you?" That's very important. Okay, so we got a lot of information here. We, okay, Tatuba, the slave of Salem. Mm -hmm. They might as well just say the witch slave. All right. They, Because they definitely tried her too. Witchcraft, what is it? According to Wikipedia, Derek Jenks, and again, it's about his wife. Vicki Dillard, we definitely have her on because the post I saw her do the other day referring to the Vatican, hashtag the Vatican, hashtag Rome, hashtag root work, hashtag the, I was like, what? Wait a minute. You have a choice. You don't have to follow. You don't know what these people are doing to get to their fame and fortune. Remember, she was sitting with the warlock, right? The Dark Lord, talking about coffee and how they do rituals over coffee. And I suggested everybody quit drinking. And they are damn it, brooch or something over there where that volcano is, and them ashes he was talking about in that video he did with her, right? Mm -mm. Don't do it. So we have read, and we have him talking about cannabis and sage being okay. 
Sage and his side effects. We got Black with Yaya. Again, I'm going to introduce you to a lot of decent people. There's a woman in here who's a fourth generation witch. Uh, Beyonce had a video called Haunted, and this this is weird. Uh, the name of the witch Jay-Z hung out with and all the celebrities. Celebrities hang out with in Hollywood. So we also have Monkey Do up in here. And I believe that most people do what they see done unto them. And I don't know doing the world off the backs of European uh, influence, whether it's Spain, Portugal, France, UK. It's, it's just a lot of influence around the world that we do and say the greeks that comes from people we should not even be following or listening to not in a in a, in a swear we can't deal with people but we should never have allowed them to tell us who our god was and what our identity is here in the earth all right or lack thereof so we got the NFL, I did a video on Madame Laveau, and I was showing how to NFL be using witchcraft, NBA, politics, all of that, and how Beyonce's grandma, Marie Laveau, was down in New Orleans, Jack Waters dealing with the Catholics, and dealing with witchcraft, voodoo. Seven signs of witchcraft. Bitch, what's the meaning of bitch? Is it synonymous to witch? Are they the same? So you'll be you you'll start to look at witchcraft in a whole new light when you get done with this video and these series that I'm pushing out today. And hopefully we can get done with it because I want to start in and I may do it based off this. Not a lot of people want to admit to. People don't know about. They don't understand. They're scared to say. It. Listen. The same way people try to put stuff on you or make you feel a certain way is the same way God can take things off you and make you a better way. So... Top 10 Bible verses about witchcraft. And we read one, Exodus 18, suffer not a witch to live. So there's no one in Christianity or there's no one in issue to you. God says witches are okay. Can we annihilate them and get rid of them? No, but you can definitely exclude them from your mind, your thought process, your mouth, your heart, your issues of life, and all that good stuff, okay? So we have a few definitions, unscrupulous, what is witchcraft, manipulation, and you'll be surprised how words are more damaging. That's why God says the tongue, here, it comes, starts to break some people, especially those, the ones that give you, um, these articles and these words and these definitions and and, and the church and, and, and the politics, the, these people, a lot of your demise, if you have ever, if you have ever faced any demise or been in any situations that may uh, seem like it's witchcraft or some kind of possession or control or even oppression. In a harmful way, okay. In a you gotta remember, witches. This witchcraft thing is used with harm. That's why I said I met witches that aren't harmful that I know of. You know, hopefully they ain't playing two sided, but they're just fun loving, educational people that do their thing. I've done my thing, and um, you know, it, it is what it is. But I don't think they're playing. I don't think they're behind the scenes doing this. It's the ones that's really hurting you. There's some people in this world that are really hurting you. And um, unfortunately, you like to take it out on us 
who is not hurting you. So, of course, some more Bible verses. But one thing I want to mention here, two things, actually, before we go. Daily superstitions, Nigeria's witch hunt on children, they are over there. They're slewing the babies because these parents are bound with witchcraft, thinking their children are bound with witchcraft. And if they ain't bound with witchcraft and their child come out at, at birth or something along the way in life, they're chucking it up to witchcraft. And I just, I think it's sick. And Satan, Satan Sanchez, Satan Sanchez, a guest on Storm Around the Show, and she basically um, catered to the stars. Okay, now I would love it one day when these people who can come out here and cater to anything with root work will go individually and tell people how to do X, Y, Z at the same time to make the black people voila hocus pocus back into themselves again the mindset and mind frame we had at one point with some of our ancestors and that's a whole nother video because there's a lot of ancestors and we may just talk about one or two of them that may have practiced witchcraft or may have have done it years, thousands of years ago. All right. So that's basically it for this video. I am going to go ahead and come back here. I'm going to share my screen about 24 minutes in. All right. So now I have to realize what to do. Go back and watch this, probably edit some things. But if not, I'm just going to upload this right on up to YouTube and let you guys know what we're going to talk about. Hopefully, I gave you enough insight and context on what it is we're going to talk about. But um, we're definitely going to talk about it. And may God bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. Let his countenance rest in you and his shalom peace be in you on you and all around you now with that being said let's see if i can go ahead and figure this out and if this works we get two hours of free recording i can push out some two three minute five minute content boom boom content boom 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 and use up this two minutes two hours of free recording if you follow me right with that being said peace out everybody I am going to go ahead and end it here. Um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. You've been watching Religion Wing TV and my spiritual ears stay. And guys, you can definitely hit up the cash app D-L-M-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-I-E-S. All right. And you will see my face over there. Do not get scammed. Do not. I don't have nothing but YouTube. So if anybody out here asking for money in any other platform, in any other name, other than what you see right here, I am Drew L. Murray. This is DLM Ministries. And you've been watching Religion Wing TV, where it all goes down in the spirit. All right. At least we try anyway. So with that being said, stay tuned for the next video. Again, this is part two. I've been bewitched, previewing content to come in the next videos.